My name is Queen Suds and today we're going to be talking about something a little bit close to my heart and that is the LGBT community and how Pitch Perfect comes into play with that. Pitch Perfect is one of my favourite movie franchises but Chloe is a big, big ship in the Pitch Perfect franchise on a whole. Now, Pitch Perfect 3 came out in cinemas in the UK and the US yesterday. I took on Twitter after it being released having a look to see if the Big Chloe kiss came to light, was became canon, and unfortunately it didn't, which made me really, really miffed. Not because, oh my God, Big Chloe didn't happen, because I'm not a huge shipper. I don't like, I don't really care that much like about the ship. It's more about the message that it could have sent on like the world kind of spectrum, normalizing the LGBT community, even more than what it is now in my opinion like a five steps forward a seven step back kind of thing where you know australia has finally legalized gay marriage yes! and now you know people are still too afraid to put a lesbian lead role kind of thing on canon tv making it canon it needs to be normalized and i'm going to get into that in just a second so obviously this ship is huge and uh, Pitch Perfect it was kind of like said in interviews slightly that like the Big Chloe ship wasn't meant to happen it was just kind of a thing that fans put together and Universal really had this big big opportunity to use what the fans wanted and put it in in the in the movie and you know it was teased a lot uh, we were queer baited a lot as, as fans and it was wrong it was wrong of Universal to use these videos let me just put a clip of the video in right now. Swipe up for more. What is this about? What are you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing. They use these blooming videos to like make it seem like the Chloe was gonna happen now obviously this is going to excite the LGBT community we're gonna be like oh my god finally a big big movie is making a standpoint saying this is normal it is good it is fine to feel this way about the same sex the the cast uh, what will they do or like when they go on like a press tour kind of thing they were also kind of like leading us on a bit probably to their own kind of knowledge thinking that it was going to be in the film uh, and then just finding out getting slapped in the face that it wasn't so I was like Ugh. I'm not gonna lie to you there wasn't as much uh, like a, of a press tour as, as I'd imagine it to be for like how big Pitch Perfect was I have a source on Twitter saying that why there wasn't so much press stuff and just saying that they think they got some inside information because apparently they know people that have worked on Pitch Perfect free uh, obviously it's not a reliable source but it kind of makes sense to me I'm gonna read that to you now and provide screenshots because it's kind of like it's like my opinion I kind of dance on it because I just like to promote what's right and what I think is right in the world obviously being the Twitter warrior that I am I'm just kidding by the way I'm not a Twitter warrior I was really annoyed for the LGBT community considering there's people in my family like my cousins and my auntie my auntie's a lesbian and my cousin's gay and for me I'm I identify as a bisexual so I kind of I swing both ways as plenty of fish in my sea <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds like, I sound like a whore. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, it was important to me that, you know, for young children that it gets normalised uh, and they said, yes, it is fine to feel that way. Because when I was younger, and obviously I've expressed these feelings like fancying men and women from a young, young age, I was like, this, this isn't, this isn't right. You know, this is, this is this doesn't feel right because it wasn't as normalised. And you know, I remember my friend's mother had to move away because I'm going to provide the screenshots so you can read through with me if you don't understand my accent. Obviously, I've got quite a thick Welsh accent, and I speak quite fast, so it'll be on the screen. Don't worry. This is one of the sources I've got that said they had inf inside information of people who've actually worked on, on Pitch Perfect 3. So this person said, Hi, I saw your tweet and I understand why you're really mad about this. I know most of the people that worked on the movie are pissed too. I have a few friends that have worked on all three movies. I thought you might be interested to know a little bit. Little uh, BTS of what happened with uh, PP3. Obviously, I don't know what BTS stands for. I don't think 
there's anybody to blame but the execs. Universal is a big studio and I can understand why they wouldn't want to speak up about it. This is their job at the end of the day and I don't think it's worth risking your income over this issue. But obviously I believe in standing up for what's right. I am not in no way affiliated with the with the organisation. I do want to be an actress so this will probably stop me from ever becoming an actress. Oh my god, this is gonna suck. I really think Universal will really miss the mark there because I think as they queer baited us, they made like these tweets, these videos, really, really like pushing it as on a promotional level of the fact that we will finally have a big, big lesbian relationship on the ending of the Pinch Perfect franchise. Now, hopefully, and I am praying that there will be more films for Pitch Perfect because it is a brilliant film. I'm going to actually get into the positives of what Universal have actually done and just the, the writers and the directors of it have actually done for women uh, and a whole but obviously we have to get the negative out of the way because you know there's certain things that you can't really take away from uh, Universal on a whole but what I really want to say is like obviously these queer baiting things was really really wrong and what they did on, in the PR campaigns and just everything you know it was just it was upsetting because the lgbt community is such a big thing why would you target them since they are like an extremely 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 big community that just are gonna fry universal i feel like if this is shed enough light upon the lgbt community is just gonna fry universal Universal have really, really missed the mark and they could have made triple what they have on the bo box office weekend just because the LGBT community is such a big thing and having a really, really awesome mainstream movie promoting this positivity just would have really, really sat well with mostly everybody in the LGBT community. Now onto some positives. Pitch Perfect, just as a whole franchise, is such an empowering film for women anyway. I know they kind of like missed the mark on the Chloe thing, but in saying that, you know, you've got so many different women and obviously there's 10, 10 strong female leads and there's no male leads really. So it's a film that's really driven by women and it just empowers girls and just really tells us and young girls, women are awesome and it doesn't matter what gender you are you, you can still be awesome so it's really really made a big movement for the feminist community so i'm really really happy to be a big fan of pitch perfect regardless of this big incident am i gonna still watch pitch perfect yes am i gonna enjoy that the film it's inevitable i'm probably gonna enjoy it i'm probably gonna cry just because they've said it's the last one and i'm like i cried in the last harry potter that wasn't sad but i still cried <laughs> but regardless i just want to say you know yeah this is sad but still don't judge pitch perfect too hard because they've still made a standpoint for women uh women's rights feminism and everything so there's still positivity being shed uh through the pitch perfect franchise it's just this would have been a really really big breakthrough in my opinion but obviously on Universal side I feel like they've also got a lot to consider because Universal is quite a big thing throughout different places so they've got to be like is this gonna really sit well with people uh, in different countries i mean at the end of the day it shouldn't matter if you think it's right you should put it in but you know as it's a big company they've also got a lot to think about so i don't know the big standpoint i feel like universal have their own opinion and it should be listened to i mean every opinion is right even though in my opinion it would probably be better and and wrong of them to like leave a bit, a bit Chloe out but to them they might have a big justifiable reason for it they probably will never release it but as a business stand uh, point of view they've got to really think about pleasing everybody I'm upset for the LGBT community because this would have been a breakthrough but you know in the future I really really hope that we can support the LGBT community even more as of right now it's not the right time so hopefully in a few more movies to come in different different franchises we can get a breakthrough anyway guys I've been Mer, you guys have been awesome. If you have anything to say about this topic or just want to discuss about it, leave it in the comments below. I'm really, really excited to hear what you have to say. Everything will be fine. So anyway, chill your bean, don't worry about it. I'm proud of who I am. You should be proud of who you are regardless of if it gets screen time or not. Bye! Positivity spreading!